pharmacy background with five years experience in sales and marketing, aspiring to do PG diploma in applied management. Is it a right choice? Study pharmacy, but then after, then you didn't stick to the technical side of pharmacy, which is to be a pharmacist or a pharmacy technician, but you seem to have moved on into the business side of it, which is sales and marketing. Now, sales and marketing, whether it is in the pharmacy industry or in the education industry or the migration industry or the automobile industry is the same. So if you have decided to continue to stick to your sales and marketing line, then really you are no longer a pharmacy pharmacy guy. You know, you've kind of moved more into the business side of guy and you've become a, a sales and marketing professional. So I don't think we can call you a pharmacy uh, professional any longer. You may be selling pharmacy products, but you are really a sales and marketing product. And a sales and marketing professional can sell computers, can sell uh, houses, can sell uh, pharmacy products, can sell anything. So it looks like you moved into that particular area. So from that perspective, you really are now a sales and marketing professional. So doing this course in applied management will probably be a good idea unless you want to switch back into pharmacy and pick that up as your technical core area. But it is not very easy for pharmacists because you need to go through the registration process in New Zealand and it can be a lengthy process. So if for some uh, conscious reason you have let go of pharmacy, the technical subject and move more into sales and marketing, I think this course is a good one uh, to see how many papers are there which relate to sales and marketing. And then I think it's a good suggestion. And you know, as I told you, if you're a confident guy who speaks well, uh, he's well presented and can, you know, with our help, with a good CV and cover letter and some amount of networking, can get yourself in front of 10 or 15 interview people. You know, why not? Because this country does uh, work quite a, uh, There are a lot of service industries in New Zealand and there is always a constant demand for sales and marketing professionals in different industries, banking, insurance, automobile, various places. So you complete a course in applied management, get yourself a job related to that, and I think you'll still be good. Hope I've answered that. Uh,